Friday YouTube, Big G, back again with another video, and I thought I'd do a Let's Compare. Uh, I just recently received a uh, Nintendo 64, and uh, I've been playing on it, and I've actually been having a lot of fun. I managed to get hold of a power supply from a, a local guy here in East London, so I managed to get it booted up, and I've started playing some of the great games that I have for it. And uh, I thought most of my games are fighting games or racing games, so I thought let me start off with a Let's Compare rally games so first one up is a uh, top gear rally you can see it over here none of these are really i don't think red titles or anything like that and i don't have a expansion pack on the nintendo 64 so i'm playing it just in its basic mode so and the second game that i'm comparing it to is multi racing champion multi racing champion so basically, two um, rally type racing games, and I'm going to put them head to head, and we can see which is the better of the two on, on my current system. Okay, first up we have Top Gear Rally by Midway. Uh, I think this was also brought out in 1997, 1996, somewhere around there. And it's just busy booting up through its opening screen. Now I've played this a little bit, I've uh, done a little bit of practice on it uh, just so that I can get used to these controls and I must say that I'm sort of battling with the controls on the Nintendo 64 they're not the easiest controls. Okay so let's get into game and you can see I've selected Arcade Select you've got a number of options, I didn't find any real difference between these different options and I've just cho chosen Automatic and you can see putting my foot flat down to the metal and off we shoot so I just found automatic to be easier the other setups when it comes to the actual um, tires and suspension and so forth uh, I wasn't really sure if they made such a hell of a difference so I've just gone with the basic setup um, the first thing I found with the game was getting used to the slide and drift um, where to hit the power and where to take off the power and you can see I'm still battling with it I still don't get it a hundred percent perfect so I'm often making contact with um, the terrain as such um, that automatically just slows you down once you make contact so you try to stay on track um, so that you can get the maximum amount of speed out of out of your um, car now I'm playing basically a time trial arcade type setup so I have to hit the different uh, checkpoints within a certain amount of time otherwise I'm gonna lose out oh, yeah I found a shortcut and each course and there's a number of different courses that you can try I'm still playing back you know just messing around here um, but if you find a shortcut take the shortcut it uh, normally um, saves you a bit of time I must say the the sense of speed is there I do get that sense of speed uh, but the graphics I, I don't know if it's just the Nintendo 64 or because I don't have an expansion pack but the graphics are not wonderful, um, they're a bit blocky, um, pixelated, but they're not bad either. Uh, but I expected more uh, from the Nintendo 64. You know, previous games that I've played have been on the Super Nintendo, and this is not a huge jump up from the Super Nintendo. Uh, it is better, definitely better, but uh, it's not night and day sort of difference. Uh, we've got a nice little tunnel effect here. And I like that. That was nice, sort of that feeling of, of shooting through the air with you know gravity comes into play. So I must say the dynamics of the of, of, of the racing is there. I do like the way I, you know, now that I'm starting to get used to the drifting, you can see there staying away from the terrain and managing to keep my speed up as I manage to get into the core except there. <laughs> um, so I, as you can see being a bit of a pinball there and we come around the corners um, trying to get the drift in and trying to just power out of these corners when you get it right it does this, it, it really does help your time but not when you connect like that and i've set it to kilometers per hour um, to get off the miles per hour one of the nice features of the game and unfortunately i don't have a memory pack so i, I can't save games 
or when I want to, uh, you, in this particular game, you can actually go into a paint setup. Uh, let me just take the shortcut again. Save me a bit of time going through the beach. Uh, you can also go through the water. It actually has some nice water effects. But um, in one section, you can actually set up the decals and paint uh, and, and text of, of your actual car setup, which is actually quite nice. So you can put, uh, let's say, for instance, Big G or whatever your name might be on the actual vehicle itself, and you can modern, you can add your own, you know, sort of touch and feel to your vehicle, which is actually quite nice. I quite like that. And we're just powering through here. I'm actually doing quite well. I normally don't get as far as the second. Oh, they just made it. I don't normally make it this far. Uh, I'm not racing against. Uh, I don't think I'm racing against. I'm, it says I'm coming first. One of the one of the downfalls of this this game is I don't see a mini map. Where is the mini map? Why isn't there a mini map? And you're also not getting you know with the fog. Uh, in the, and with the distance, you don't, you can't see that far into the distance. So these turns sort of come very quick. Now a little mini map on the side would really have helped. You know, I've played other rally games, and they've got a mini map, or they've they've got you know fla uh, you know flashing icon coming up to say turn left here, turn right, sharp turn, not a sharp turn. Um, so that that is definitely lacking in the game, and it's going to score it down in my view. On my, in my view. Maybe it's in the championship mode. I'm not sure. But in the practice modes that I've played so far and in the time trial modes, oh, there's aeroplane. <laughs> What's aeroplane doing here? Oh, I made my checkpoint. Time left, 52 seconds to the next checkpoint. Oh, let's see if I can make it. Have to make it. So far, I haven't actually managed to finish. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, make it through here again I'm on lap 3 of 3 so yes there's a lot you can do I was messing around with some of the options um, the cars that are there unfortunately uh, because these are not licensed vehicles as such you're not going to find things like Subarus there or Subarus as you call it yeah they call it a Subaru you know so they just change a letter here change a letter there so they don't have to license these different vehicles uh, but uh, yeah, the cars are fine. You know, I'm not one. I'm not a, a huge fan of racing games. So, you know, or rally games. So maybe to a purist, there's not enough options. For me, there was more than enough options. You know, I don't like to. I'm not going to sit there and fiddle and faff around different settings of vehicles and so forth. Um, I just want to get in there, have a quick race, and get out. And this is this is giving me, you know, exactly that. I can get in there, get out, have my race, have my fun, and. It, it's getting easier. I must say the control is getting easier the more I play it. Uh, I'm not bashing into the sides of the... And there we're coming up, coming up. There we are. And I came first. Uh, so we're doing a bit of an instant replay here. I'll let it run through, which is not bad. Um, yeah, so that's actually quite nice. There goes my vehicle. But uh, yeah, I, I actually quite enjoyed that. Um, the more I played it, the easier it got, the more the controls sort of grew on me. There's not a lot, it's basically two buttons and your and your joystick that you're using on the Nintendo controller uh, and finding your way around it that way. Um, the sliding was got better, you know, missing the terrain, the course got easier, finding the little secrets, I enjoyed that and a lot of characterization. So overall, that was great. So yeah, let's move on to my second game and that is Multi Racing Championship by Ocean this time, and there's the ocean. Once again, I'm not going to go through the you know all the different options of the game. I'm just going to get in and, and play. Um, so now, while it's busy booting up, um, also this seems you know I had a go on it, and it, it definitely seems very pixelated, and the graphics resolution actually seems lower than Top Gear Rally. I mean, have a look at that. Uh, it is in my imagination, but is this Super Nintendo type graphics that I'm looking at? It, it really does look rather, rather old. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I suppose maybe it takes advantage of an expansion pack, and I don't have an expansion pack, so it can't run it at its best resolutions. So let's go into it, and we're just going to have a quick, a quick go at. Uh, 
there you can see I'm just taking the easy setup and I'm gonna go straight into a championship mode and I'm just gonna take the box standard automatic entry level and you start in the team ready so go and immediately first of all is the visual let's have a look at the visuals it definitely is a lower resolution my mind to top gear it actually looks it actually looks pretty bad um, the sound is not bad I must say and thank you but the it actually has a flashing icon that came up to tell me that there was a I like this speech let's give it here uh, it comes in from the, I think it becomes a queen. Competitive. Uh, I must say the controls actually seem a little bit easier. I've actually played this a little bit less with my head base, or maybe it's just getting used to the, the slide and drift of the, of the ready game. The controls seem a little bit easier. Uh, what I do like is. Um, Sound, but what I do like is yes, on, pass the ball. Uh, and Great court from here on. Now put it to the floor. Come on. And there's another shortcut. Well, I've tried that shortcut before, and I actually came out worse for wear. Sorry, you get some like rapid bits, and I didn't enjoy that at all. Great court from here on. Now put it to the floor. That's as I said, point here, stick back. Uh, sound is good. I don't like the sound at all. And I think the controls are taken as it. I'm not hitting the terrain as often as I did in uh, Top Gear Ready. Oh, I do get that sense of speed. And maybe that's why it's, it's, not, it's not utilized. It's <laughs> like a dolphin or something. Jumped out of the water there. And I'm on the final lap. Uh, let's see if I can get it. 7 out of 10. And I'm going to stay away from that shortcut. So it does, it also doesn't have a bit of a But it does have the hard point of flashes to tell you that there's a ball that comes out of the slide. Come on, you've got to do better, but we won't take it in time. I the list of things are there. I tried to play a stage at night on this night. Uh, uh, and it was very difficult because I mean, unfortunately, the graphics are not that good and with that point fog. And at night, I just kept on crashing. So, I prefer playing my day stages. But yeah, you can see there, weather does come in through it. Next so there was a bit of rain, but although whether it rains or doesn't rain doesn't really affect your gameplay. So yeah, that was MRC on the Nintendo 64. Okay guys, you've seen both games. I've played them back to back. Uh, first of all, I played Top Gear Rally and then MRC straight after that. And without doubt, the better of the games is Top Gear Rally. Graphics are far superior, definitely better. Um, I found the racing a little bit more realistic. Uh, I found the controls a little bit more difficult, but that was fine. I like that sliding sensation you got in, in the turns and so forth. But uh, the graphics was the big, the big kicker there. Um, I don't know why MRC has got such a low resolution. You know, maybe it's because it needs the expansion pack. I don't know, but it definitely seemed a lot older and a lot more dated than what Top Gear Rally is. So in my mind, between the two and the best rally game I currently have uh, on my Nintendo 64, it's Top Gear Rally. Do you agree with me? Not? Have I overlooked something? Let me know, guys. Otherwise, cheers for me.